couch Dogs need the lessons Riffers. Welcome back to yet another awesome finger style lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which I want to teach you one of the most dazzling, impressive, and overlooked techniques guitar players can learn. Okay, it's called sweep harmonics. Yep, you've heard right, it's not sweep arpeggios, it's sweep harmonics. Artificial harmonics played as a chord. Now, it is doable, it is possible, and the only reason that I can do it is because I've been practicing this technique for almost 20 years now, I think. I learned it in 1998. So 20 years, oh my God, I'm old. So before I get into an existential crisis, um, let me show you how it's done. Now I have to warn you, this is not a simple technique. It's not an easy technique at all. You have to uh, kind of uh, teach your hand two fixed positions, two very, very precise positions. And it will take some time and don't get frustrated because it's a difficult, difficult technique. Okay, it can be done sideways as well for F-shaped chords and I will show you how to do it. And as you will see, I will not succeed 100% of the time uh, in playing it. So sweep harmonics, you see? I played a chord and I'm playing D, major seven, sweeping upwards. And you can also do it downwards. Okay, you can do it downwards. Can you hear? That's harmonics, it's not the chord, it's harmonics. Now, in order to do it upwards physically, down musically, you need to use the little finger, okay? In order to do it downwards physically, upwards musically, you need to use the thumb. So two very, very specific positions, okay? Now, I'm holding my hand like this when I play the, um, the up strum, okay? I, I'm holding my hand like this. My forefinger is extended to touch the string. My little finger is extended. It's like this, like a claw. They're extended, and uh, hopefully I, I hit the strings at the same time. I pick with my little finger while touching the string, okay? And I create a harmonic. Now, um, this is the easy way to do it because it's the same fret, okay? It's the second fret, okay? So, okay? D major seven is two, 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 and zero on strings one, two, three, and four, okay? So, okay, play that chord. And then uh, you can try to play each harmonic on its own, on the E string, on the B string, on the G string, okay? And once you get you get it, now this is not the way that I usually play harmonics, I play it with the third finger. I pick it with my third finger, okay? That's what I'm used to, but it's hard for me to execute it with my third finger when I sweep it, so I play it with my little finger, okay? Like this, like a claw. So after you're used, to the same fret, okay? Playing the harmonic. Try to play, try to play it sweeping. Now, um, basically, you're picking with your little finger and you're blocking the way with your finger. Now, you can, if it's on the same fret, you can just lay your finger upon the chord and then just strum. But this results in a blocking sound, okay? Most of the time. You need, okay, you need to hit the string the same time, okay, one after the other. You have to find your own physical position to pull it off, okay? Trust me on this. You can do it sideways as well. If you play an F-shaped chord, okay, anywhere on the neck, play it, play it on two again, okay? Two, two, three, four, and strings one, two, three, and four, okay? An F-sharp chord, you can actually, um, not like this, you can play it sideways. You can, okay, move your hands sideways and then you, then you, then you get, okay? I told you, not 100% of the time, okay? But you can, okay? You just move it sideways with the chord, okay? But again, mm, I, I nailed it the first time, okay? Let, let's try it. You see, I can do it sometimes, okay? But now I'm hyper aware of my hand, so I need 
to reboot it in order to succeed. But you saw that it was possible. I did it the first time. Now for the downstrom. You need to extend your finger and use the thumb again simultaneously. So it might look easier, okay? Again, sideways. It might look easier, but it's just as demanding. You have to hit them at exactly the same time. Okay, now you can pick it as a start. Okay, I don't know why I'm playing the F sharp. Go back to D, okay, to D major seven. Get used to this, okay, just picking the harmonic and try, try to do it. Okay, you might succeed faster than I did. Okay, it took me a long time to nail it, but the, the, the thing is not nailing the technique down, it's uh, being able to play it while uh, making music, while, you know, while you're improvising, while you're soloing, to suddenly, you know, suddenly bring out that sweep harmonic and just dazzle all the guitar players in the crowd. Uh, if you can do it in real time, okay? It's not just learning the technique, it's applying it. So, okay, you want, again, you know, you want to get, get the thumb and the finger at the same time. It's less cloy than this, okay, but it's just two fingers, but you want to keep your hand open just, you know, just in case, okay? Maybe she's hearing the high frequency. Uh, all right, so um, the this lazy guy behind me doesn't really interested isn't really interested in harmonics. Now, after you've done this, try it sideways again. Now this again takes precision. You need to go sideways. You know, twelve frets above the the note. But I'm pretty sure that you know harmonics already, otherwise you wouldn't have watched this lesson uh, because this is not a beginner harmonic lesson. It's always 12 frets above the, uh, the note you're playing. So if you're on 2, 2, and 2, you're gonna play on 14, 14, and 14. If you're on 2, 2, 3, and 4, you know, for an F sharp, you're gonna play 14, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so that, nailed it. Ah, you see, you have to be in the moment. Um, so if you're practicing it too much, and you start being hyper alert, you know, uh, and hyper aware of your hand, just, just move to the other technique. Now, um, again, this is, this is a problematic technique. You can do it with an A chord, okay, so, and, see, and you can do it with uh, each, you know, with bar chords, okay, C sharp, so you can do it, okay, so, see. Again, nailed it the first time, and then become became hyper aware, hyper aware, aware. Um, so you see, it's got its uses. You can do it with many, many different chords. Okay, the basic chords, uh, most of all. But again, it takes a long time before you feel comfortable with this technique. It's an advanced technique. And it's, it's, it's an amazing technique because harmonics are amazing and you can, you can really expand the guitar's vocabulary with harmonics. Um, so I wish you a lot of fun with this. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you very, very much for watching. Bye, enjoy and have patience. Take your time. You can do it.